This is the point of no return. You better prepare yourselves for everything. You've got to be at your game, the top of your game. Know exactly what your enemies are. God damn it! Stop sleeping! All right, it's time to finish this off. Welcome back to Let's Play the MJ's Let's Play of Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. With our final battle this episode, this is your host, the MJ406. And today we're going to be concluding the Pit of 100 Trials, which I should warn you. Once you go down past level 90, there's no going back and you better be ready. Because these are the toughest of the toughest. So you better be ready. Because look at the first enemy we encounter. It's another wizard enemy. How exciting is that? And we have another swooper to boot. All right, Kubella, get busy. Almost all these are enemies you don't find above the pit of 100 trials. That's an elite wizard. This is the top of the heap for half machine organisms. Passage B is 12, attack is 8, defense is 5. Incredible stats, huh? You can probably guess this, but it loses various magic moves in battle. And if it's alone, it'll create illusions of itself. It has no real weakness. So this is what you've got to do, okay? Let's go, Mario! Art attack, save me. <laughs> save me with your awesome drawing powers. I should probably kill that one in the back for sure because it has a shooting star. Yeah, watch out for these elite wizards. If you have no special power left, they can be very, very aggressive with their high defense and strong attack power. But look at that. I got three star points out of it. Ooh, but that bat. Oh, Swampire! Oh, great. It's a vampire pun. That's a Swampire! It's a feared health sucker that hides in the darkness. Magic is 20, attack is 6, and about to 0. Just like the Dark Crawl, oddly enough. It sucks health from its prey to add to its own HP. And that totally grosses me out like you wouldn't believe. If you let, if you let it feast on you, it seems people get really high. What was your attacks on it? I'd rather focus my attacks on more danger on more threatening enemies than this. To be honest, this is probably the least threatening enemy down in levels 91 through 100. Like, he's the least threatening. He's the last of your concerns down here. Especially if you zap that. Whoa! Nine star points. Oh yeah, I'm leveling up. I'm gonna be leveling up again. It's gonna be great. Hmm. I feel like there's something I want to have. I don't know why I want to do this. Come on, Flurry. Oh god, wrong battle! Rough Puff, the fourth version of him. And hey, look at that! It's another Amazing Daisy! They're down here too! So if you want to kill an Amazing Daisy and rack up a mad experience, now's the time. Hmm. Oh! Oh! I'm scared! But I have no reason to be scared. I believe, for some reason, I think down here, the Amazing Daisies give you more experience points than they do back in, um... Uh, whatever the forest is. Yeah, sadly, I forgot what it was called. I wanted to say Forever Forest, but that's the original Paper Mario I'm thinking of. I'm doing this because I really want to level up again. Now come to me! Boom! Whoops. Oh! Look at my experience! Oh my god, I already have 47 racked up! Oh yeah, I'm leveling up. For sure. Sweet! So I'll be at level 34 now. 50 experience points! Yeah! If I got the curse for that, to double experience, I would have hit the maximum 100. For automatic level up. Alright, I'm going to level up BP because I like it. Who doesn't like BP? Seriously. Okay. Now. Now that I think about what's coming up ahead, 
None of these enemies have spikes on them, so I'm going to get rid of my spike shield. It is not necessary for any of this. But I will re-equip. I will equip Defend Plus P, so now my partners are somewhat safer. I will also equip... Um, piercing Blow. Why not? If I have no other option against the Elite, the elite Wizard, Piercing Blow will help me out. <gasps> oh no! Even the bulky bob has a different variation. And this one's much more threatening. Much more threatening. Let me kill the first one so then Gubella can explain the rest of them. Alright, go ahead. Tattle away, miss. That's a bubble! That's easily the biggest bob I've ever seen! Once it fuses, Tan attack is four defenses too. It won't attack, but once it fuses it, it'll explode after a while. So the problem is, how to beat it before it goes off? Oh my? I mean, its bomb attack is a power of 16! That's no joke! Seriously, watch out for that! Just go all out to beat it! Put out all the stops! Or you can just set it off early with fire explosions, sure call. So if you want to fight these things, you better make sure you know what you're doing. Otherwise, you're going to be wishing you planned ahead. Another reason why Piercing Glow is such a great idea. You know what else is a great idea? Ms. Mouse. They take just as many turns to charge up, and they also increase their defense. They have an extra bit of defense, extra HP, and their explosion's a lot more severe. Twice as powerful as the bulky bob if I'm not mistaken. I would say these guys are less threatening than the Swamp Pyres, but if you allow them to charge up their attack power, they can be the worst thing to ever happen to you. The fact that I do not believe they can be super guarded either, yeah. That's a real problem if you don't take them out fast. So either have Supernova ready or know how to pierce their defenses. Otherwise, you're screwed. Alright, that wasn't too bad, though. Alright, let me get... Eh, Vivian's always a good option. Her Fiery Jinx is very helpful. I'll attack Swampire first. Hopefully it's not pronounced Swamp- <gasps> Whoa! Ah! There's two of them! Let's do it, Vivian! Let's level up again! I guess you could call this the easiest way to level up. But getting down here takes a lot of time. Yes! 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 I am so excited for this! Yes! 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 Oh! Ah! 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 Whoa! 89 star points! Yeah! <laughs> Oh, that was awesome! Ah, Alright, let's go with... HP. Woohoo! Yes! What a great day! I don't even care if you're humping that pipe, Vivian. I'm too happy right now. Yes! Ah, oh, damn it. And that spoils my entire mood. Oh, well. Oh, great. That Swampire has a booze sheet. That's, that's helpful. Alright, so... Let's battle it the same way I did before. Boom! 
quite an expert at drawing circles! I still remember my kindergarten and education. Education is good. And now for the kill. Thank you, Vivian. They all still give me two star points, so... Whoa, am I at now? 35? I thought 36 was the time they would stop giving you star points. I guess that's the time they start... All of them start giving you just one star point, except for Amazy Daisy. Oh, right. Before I forget, I'm gonna have to do this. Wow! Halfway through this batch of 10, we're only 10 minutes in. We're already at 11 minutes? Damn! Oh, I'm going slower. This is taking a lot longer than I thought it would. Oh, and there's another Amazy Daisy, too! You know what? I'll just have to take my chances. I'm getting this kill! And you can't stop me, Vegeta. Yay! All the star points, 42. Oh! Now would definitely be a good time to scan these enemies to show you what they do. Because they are also a huge threat down here. Goku Bell, be quick about it. They're very strong, too. That's a poison puff. Basically, it's just a puff of poisonous air. Measure through this 15. Attack is 8. Defense is 0. Its poison gas attack is 10. These things charge through, but they also save up toxins and poison you with them. Scum! Plus, you can't touch them when they're saving up toxins or you'll get hurt. Um. So, yeah, they're, they're a huge threat down here. Definitely a very, very big threat. Ah, they poisoned me. Damn them, their poison gas attack. I didn't feel anything from that. Ah, damn it. I'll just have to keep going like this. Oh, look at that. You didn't get me any star points. What the hell? Apparently, they're the least valuable enemy down here. That poison attack, though, is really the only big threat they give, so I guess it's understandable. I'm definitely killing him first. But before I do that, let's recover HP! What great timing for that! Woo! Hurry, Gumbella! Kill! Yes! I timed it well! 44. If I can get one more Maisy Daisy, I can level up again. Which would be awesome. I'd love to level up my a my FP yet again. I mean, once again. Okay, this is level 97. Why, hello again, Bob Oak. You know what? I'll take my chances on this one. I knew it! It's another Amazing Daisy! I knew it! Hmm. You know what, Bobby? Do it now. It's the Boom Bowser Boom Festival, bitches! Ow. 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 Oh, Defend Plus does help you defend against that. Oh, you killed the Mace Daisy for us. Why, thank you. One attack. That's the benefit of blowing them up early. You take little damage, but you still take damage that you cannot guard against. All right, before I continue, let me see if anybody else needs to recover HP. No. Nobody needs to recover HP right now. Glorious. Glorious indeed! I swear to God though, if I find another Amazy Daisy... I really think I will too, that's the thing. I really think I'm gonna find another one. That's another two! It's 
So, I think it's time for another supernova. Let's do it. Wow, I have to say, this is the these, this is the most amazing daisies I've ever encountered down here in one run. What is this? Seven now? Still something like that. So yeah, this is the quickest way to level up, for sure. You're just finding them, it's all based on chance. It's a lot easier to go into the um, forest towards Twilight Town and look for them there. But finding here is totally worth- We're all up two battles in a row! Yeah! Now that's what I call an effective strategy! Alright. To change tradition, let's level up HP again. Sweet. Alright. I'm gonna try to not use star power for the next battle. Alright, let's see. We're at level 98. Yep. Man! I've leveled up three times in these batch of 10 levels alone! I do not think the elite wizards give off amazing daisies in their battles, though, so. You're out of luck on that one. You have to battle them purely with what you've got. Wait. What am I talking about? They're just. Alright, let's see if I can make this really quick. Please. Blow. 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 Yay! No star points. Okay, so it's after level 36 they stop giving you star points. All right. So there we go. Level 99. We did it. All we have to do now is go to the next room and claim our prize. Come, Goombella. It's time we take what is rightfully ours. The treasure hidden within the pit of a hundred trials. This massive cavern. Oh, you've got to be fucking kidding me! There's another enemy down here! Get all the way by the pit of a hundred trials to fight this! Oh. Wow! What a freak! No kidding! It's Bone Tail! This is the boss you come to at the bottom of the pit of a hundred trials! They don't call it the pit of a hundred trials for nothing! The last level is by far the hardest! Bone Tail! He's the oldest brother of Puck Tail! So, he, so old he's just bones fat! Wow, now that's old! His body's max HP is 200, his attack is 8, his defense is 2! That ridiculous HP! He's very impressed that my computers are supposed to sleep! When his HP gets low, he'll recover! Or reanimate, as the case may be! He's probably stronger than the last boss! Seriously! Let's do this right! He may be... He also has breath attacks that do a lot of various effects, yes. Yes, watch out for this thing. Bone Tail is, some people may refer to him as an RPG, is a super boss. Stronger than the main game's line of bosses. He even puts you to sleep! This fight can really put a toll on you. So, this is why you really want to make sure you have the best items you can get. Ouch. And make sure you have all those star abilities as well as upgrades to your boots and hammer. See, going down here, this is why going down with single boots and hammer is a very bad idea. You would need badge. You would need FP and badges just to damage him. Just to damage him. Always you do the, da the danger Mario method. Alright, let's do power lift because that's a good idea for this fight. While it won't decrease damage you take from breath attacks, it'll decrease the damage you take from his stumps. Thankfully, he's not as tricky as Gloomtail, but he's definitely more annoying to put up with because he can recover. So basically, grind to your heart's content because this is going to be one fight you're going to hope you pass the first time. 
Because remember, there's no save point before this point. If you lose here, you would have to spend the hours you spent to get down here, to get down here again. And this is a one-time fight, so don't think you can battle him more than once. Besides, who would want to? Actually, I would. But I wouldn't want to go through the effort to have to do it. Damn you and your defense of two. At least you can get burned. Alright. Power lift will definitely come of use with the stronger attack power I have. Come on! Ow! Oh yes, he bites too. Only Hooktail did that before. I don't think Gloomtail bites, though. At least I've never seen him try to bite me. Damn it! It's so hard to time that with these things. Brain Jump is so hard to time because you can barely see the shadow and then Mario just pops up out of nowhere. So, ow! At least that's what it seems like. Okay. Power lift once more. Since I got perfect on the slot wheel, the crowd's still excited. And since it's mostly toads, I'm in good shape when it comes to star power. Hopefully you at least got to hear when you have Sweet Feast. Because if you take a lot of damage and don't have items, that'll be the only option you have. Unless you want to go with Sweet Treat, which isn't nearly as helpful. Come on! Damn it! Stop biting me, you dick! Alright, I'm probably gonna use Sweet Feast soon now that I think about it. Yes! Got you this time! Ah! Damn it! That would have been helpful. <clears throat> Ha! At least I can dodge your stomp attack! Yes! Come on! Let's see what you've got, you big bony bastard! Alright, halfway there. He's down to just 96. Well, 90 now. Ah! Haha! <laughs> like, do they really need to have more? Do they really need to have two extra variations of the first boss in this game? I don't think so. I mean, it's tough, no question, but. What a cool they threw, like, a unique enemy down here. You know? A unique final boss? Oh man, that FP! That FP! Woo! Wow, that was a good one! I recovered a lot out of that one. Wait, stand still? Thank you for the free mushroom! I'll use it probably never. Fire! Oh! No, he's recovering now! Damn you, sir! Go with power lift once again. Uh, come on. Stop! Where are the arrows? I just want the arrows. It's not fair. I didn't even get to get a lot of stats that time. What the hell? I mean, the defense isn't really that much of a concern for this fight, but the attack power is. Time to recover my star power, now I think about it. Come on! <gasps> no! Ah, oh, crap! I've been frozen for two turns! Oh, this is, this is such a bad time for that to happen. Oh, God. Oh, the power lift's gonna wear off now.
damn it! He got refrozen! You gotta be kidding me! See, the other thing that makes this bad, if you get hit by an attack like that, and it keeps throwing combos on, on you on the, using the same attack, you could be constantly stuck for the battle. Basically, you could die without being able to make moves. Okay, thank you. Ow! Alright. Yeah, let's use it now. Damn, I didn't get to do a lot of damage now. I really gotta start getting a lot more hits in. But now Mario's on the ropes. Kind of. Ooh, alright, that wasn't bad. Alright. Poor defense will help if he stomps or bites. Alright, I'll use this turn wisely. I still have a shooting star? Anyway, give me the shroom steak, please. Thank you, Tranny. Now, give this... You know what? No. I think he would just eat you. I request he did... Shit. Oh, God. Vivian's nearly out too. Ow! At least the increased defense came in handy. Oh, God. She fell back asleep. No! Ow! Thank you! Holy shit! Oh, this is getting really, really, really bad. Oh, god damn it! I have to switch her out. I can't keep what I can't let her die. All right. Now I need to recover. Even if it is slightly. Oh man, this battle's going on longer than I thought it would too. I'm struggling. All right, Bobbery. It's your turn to enjoy the power lift. Oh, God. If I could... Ah! If I could super guard that breath, this battle would be nothing. Since I can't super guard that breath attack in my life, I could die. Oh, man, this episode's going to be a lot longer than I wanted it to be. Although now you see why I wanted to do 20 levels for the previous two episodes. Because this level was going to take forever. I keep screwing up! Damn it! Man! He just keeps putting me to sleep or freezing me. Don't you use your other ones like your poisoning one? Of course you freeze him. Motherfucker. Then they're gonna have to resort to this. Jelly Ultra! Man, I can't even do anything right now. Mario's just suffering. No! Come on! Come on! If you didn't notice, you can't super guard or guard at all while you're frozen or asleep. Oh, God damn it! Not screw power lift. I just gotta start going for attacks the way this battle's going. I can't be risking trying to raise my stats for an easier fight. There's his poison breath. Yeah, screw the power lift. I'm just gonna go for the kill. Come on! Die! Oh! Good, that didn't work. Ah! Damn it! I don't feel like recovering you guys. I want to keep Mario alive. Because if you guys die, Mario's going to be okay. 
All right. Ooh. That was a confusion one. Oh god, you do not want to get hit by that one. Thankfully, Vivian could be at least kind of safe, where I don't have to recover her for this fight. So hey, there are various ways to fight Bone Tail. Basically, just go with who your best combo is. Go with the partner you're best with, because that's definitely the way you want to go. Alright, this battle's getting close to being over. Ah, damn it! I fucked up! <laughs> Make out with a giant dragon! Yay! Weird medieval asphyxiation you have there! Yay! Sweet! Ha! Oh, that fucking didn't do anything! Almost there. Just one more hit. Oh, God! This was the worst time this could have happened! No! That's the worst piece of a stage that could fall on you. Huh. Okay. Yeah, Confusion might also switch out partners, too. Oh yeah, I have life shrooms, dirt. At least I knocked her out of her sleep thing. Mario may also switch out his partners. Alright, let's just finish this off slow sa shell slam. It's over! Die! Oh, uh, uh, no! And you only get one star point, of course. Oh, that's a really tough boss. Of course you only get one star point. Whew! Well, that was tougher than usual. God damn. That was kind of ridiculous. What the hell? How do we get up back here? Oh, god damn it! That treasure chest must have activated a time warp. Um. Oh, I want to attack! What? What? Stop your blubbering! This is it! Meet your end, you little nick! Wait. Huh? What? What? Huh? Huh? Guar? What is this Guar you speak of? Isn't that shitty band I've heard so much about? Oh, god damn it! Ha! <laughs> Sorry about the cliffhanger. I just thought I should do it. It was so convenient. Anyway, the reward you get for beating Bone Tail is the return postage badge! You know the, um, uh, the spike pouch or whatever that counters half the damage of direct attacks? The return postage makes that permanent. So, yeah. So, definitely a very good badge to win for defeating that thing. At least you get heavily rewarded. So, if you didn't beat the Shadow Queen yet or get through the Palace of Shadow, this will help you get through, like, anything if you equip it. It's worth, like, 7 BP, but, oh, man, is it good. Hell. It's the only badge, if you sell it to the shop, if it's not on sale, you have to buy it for the maximum amount of coins you can carry. Yeah. You can sell it for 500. Why would you sell it? But yeah. And look at that! All the title log is complete! We've seen all 124 enemies in the game! And I got all of them! I didn't miss a thing. And I'm missing one badge and I happen to know what it is. Ah, oh, man. I can't believe this episode's gonna be so long. That fight fucking drink. I better save now. Because I will greatly regret it if I don't. So, yes. Save. Definitely save after that. Those are hours you're not gonna get back. Oh, man. I can't believe that's over. Whew. 
Yeah, if you can't tell, that fight with Bone Tail really can be nerve-wracking if you don't know how to super guard the breath attacks. They can shrink you, they can confuse you, put you to sleep, freeze you, poison you. He's got a lot. He stomps and bites like Hooktail. And he can recover unlike the other two, but he doesn't have the super strong attacks that Gloomtail does. He's still the worst of them all. He's probably the... It's unanimous. He's the toughest enemy in this game, no question. Fat Fever Recover has massive amounts of HP and has a bunch of different status affecting attacks. Yeah! That's kind of crazy! But there you go! That's the pit of 100 trials! Fully done! You guys saw the first 50 earlier, now you got to see the last 50. And you should... If you're still low on HP from that battle, you should probably go to the end and recover. Hi, Luigi. But, I'm going to use the Jelly Ultra to recover instead. Oh, wow, Bobbery's still badly damaged, too. Since I'm never going to be coming back again, this will officially be the final episode. Let's buy Pretty Lucky P, because apparently I never had that. And now our badge collection is complete. All 85. You don't have to use all of them, you gotta have all of them. And screw the recipes, again. Got all the crystal stars, which could be the last one is called Crystal Star. Why? And the map is complete, obviously, for obvious reasons. Yeah, I never I didn't look at the map much, did I? Well, yeah, the, all the destinations are there now, so there you go. Alright, I, I don't really have anything else to show, except for really the end of the trouble. I guess we'll go ahead to that now. I have solved your trouble, sir. You erased my graffiti, Shapaf? Yes, I did. You erased it, Hushloob. I am so grateful to you. But it's not like I can confirm whether you actually erased it or not, Shaboo. Oh, well. I guess I'll just trust you. Shashakity. Take this reward, Shapow. Sisty made it for me when I told her how much I was missing the snow, Shafoom. Snow Bunny! This is a meal you can get from the recipe book. Look it up, because I don't want to. And there's your reward for solving the final trouble. I am going to start trying to fulfill my own wish now. But you cannot tell anyone what it is. Shafoom! Promise me. Shakroom! Alright, fine. I won't tell anybody. Alright, let's go back to the trouble center. Just to confirm it's the last one. Hey, honey, I'm home! Are there any more troubles? Nope. I got all of them. We haven't had any troubles come in lately. Maybe you've solved all the world's troubles already. I suppose that's good, but it's terrible for business. Ha 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 ha! Ah, yes. All the troubles have been completed. All the side quests are over. I've done everything but the recipes. That's basically it. So yeah, that's... That's pretty much everything in this game. So I hope you guys enjoyed the journey like I did. I really did enjoy this journey. Even though I may sound like I dreaded it a bit. But I... Oh, I had fun. This is still my favorite Paper Mario game. And... For most of the people I heard, it's their favorite as well. So yes, if you like the Paper Mario series or haven't tried it out, go for this one. Because it's it's really fun once you get used to it. Of course, some people have their preferences for the first one. But this one's definitely a treat in itself. Now, if only I could just kill more... Come on! Come on! Get in the noose! Damn it! Oh, right. So this is the last episode of Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is the MJ4106, and I'll see you guys in the next project. Until then... Yes! 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 Yes!